Not the wonderful people of Ghana and beyond. It is a pleasure to come your way again. My name is Daniel, and this is Steady with Delta. This is the channel where we learn math and science every week at a very comprehensive level. And this week, I'm so excited to come your way with a video or a lesson in chemistry. This week's lesson is for those who are in SHS and for Cambridge Secondary. So they want to look at a lesson in science and want to look at more. So if you are excited with me to join me to learn, then get your pens ready, get your calculators ready, get your books ready because we want to look at more. Now, what we ask that, what is more? So we'll look at the definition for more, then we'll look at some calculations that are involved in more, or we'll look at how to find more. All right, let's look at the definition for more. So more is the amount of atoms that are in 12 grams of carbon 12. More is the amount of atoms that are in 12 grams of carbon 12. So, more is actually a number when i have one more represents if i have one more one more represents a number six zero two comma two one four zero seven six to one two three 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 so one two three four five this so one more of Let's say an egg is this number, this number. So this number of eggs makes one more. Except more is used, more is a unit that is used to measure tiny particles that the naked eyes cannot see. Now, because atoms are so small that the naked eyes cannot see, this number is needed for it to be quantified. So what more represents this number? So this number is condensed into 7.02 times 10 to the power 23. This is called Avogadro's number or Avogadro's constant. So we are going to use this number in our calculations very soon. So I wanted you to understand that mole is actually a unit scientists use to measure tiny particles. And one more equal to this number, 6 times 6.02 times 10 to the power. 23. If I have one more of oxygen, one more of oxygen is this number of oxygen. If I have two moles of oxygen, it's this number of this number times two. If we have gotten that, then we're going to look at different ways by which we find more. So we'll look at four in formulas that can help us to find more. So I'm going to write that over here because we're going to use them in our calculations. So the first formula we want to look at is n equal to n l. So we'll define the meaning of the parameters or the meaning of the words that we are using, the meaning of the alphabet we are using over here. So from n equal to n l, we can find n, which is our amount of substance measured in moles. So N from here we know, sorry, from here N can be N over L. This is going to be our first formula for finding amount of substance. Then we also have N equal to M over big M. Then we also have N equal to V over V M. Then the last formula we have C equal to N over V. From here we can find N to be C V through change of subject. So formula number two, formula number three, formula number four to find amount of substance which is more. Let's define these parameters that we have. Now our X stands for number of So our N over here is number of molecules or number of entities or number of atoms. Then we know our N is amount of substance, which is more amount of substance. 
which is amour. Then our L is Avogadro's constant, which is L. The Avogadro's constant represents six points. So let me write this Avogadro's constant. Avogadro constant. Then over here, our small m is mass. So our mass. Then our big M is molar mass. Then our V over here is volume. VM is molar volume. So molar. Oh, sorry. Our V here is molar volume. Then our C here is concentration for so the concentration of substance. Our V is also volume. So these are basically the parameters that we are going to use in our calculation. So let's pick questions and we'll see how we use these formulas to find amount of substance, which is A, our move. All right, so our first question, calculate the amount of oxygen in moles of 1.505 times 10 to the power 23 molecules of the gas. We're giving L to be 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 per mole. It says calculate the amount of oxygen in moles of 1.505 times 10 to the power 23 molecules of the gas. Now, I always like to write my parameters down. It says calculate the amount of oxygen. So, question says calculate amount. So, we know amount, we are looking at amount of substance, which is N. We don't know N. Then it says of 1.505 times 10 raised to the power 23 molecules of gas. So we have given you the number and to be 1.505 times 10 raised to the power 23. This one has no unit because it's just a number. So we are being asked to find amount of substance, but then he gave us Avogadro's constant to be 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. Please do keep this number in mind because the question is not always going to give you this. But most, most, most of the time, the question gives you this. But if the question doesn't give you this, this should be a number you should be easy. That should be easy for you to keep in memory. So when you look at the parameters given, the first formula can help us to be able to find that. So from the relation n equal to n over L, we can easily substitute come this way, sorry. Our n is 1.505 times 10 to the power 23 divided by our Avogadro constant is 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. So, with the help of our calculator, our answer is 0.25 moves. 0.25 moves. So, the most important thing is for you to understand, or to get the formulas in your fingertips, or on your fingertips, and to be able to navigate with questions. So we'll solve, I think, seven questions so that you have a feel of how to find amount of substance. Now let's look at the second question. So the first question, we use the first formula. Let's look at the second question. It says, calculate the amount of oxygen in moles. Calculate the amount of oxygen in moles of 8 grams of oxygen gas. We were given molar mass of oxygen to be... 16. Calculate the amount of oxygen. So we've been asked to calculate amount of oxygen, amount of substance, and it's, we don't know, we're calculating amount of that. But we're giving mass, small n, to be 8 grams. Then we're giving molar mass of oxygen to be m of oxygen to be 
32 grams per million. So we're given that to be 32 grams per million. All right. Now, it is important to note that the question is not always going to give you straightforward molar mass. The sum of the molar mass is you will have to calculate them. So we'll look at questions like that where we'll have to calculate the molar mass. Now, looking at the parameters we have, we've been given, you realize that it is the second formula that can help us. Amount of substance equal to mass over molar mass. So let's substitute here. N equal to M over big N. So N equal to, our mass was 8 grams. Then our molar mass was 32. So we can easily punch this into our calculator. So when we do that, we get half, which is 0 0.25 minus. So this is a straightforward question. So I think it is easier to be able to do this. So bear in mind, you should know the parameters, you should know the formulas. It will help you to be able to find um, the amount of substance. So let's look at question number three. Question number three. Calculate the amount of substance of six grams of ethanoic acid. Calculate the amount of substance of six grams of ethanoic acid. We're giving N to be 14, the molar mass of N, the mass of N to be, not mass, molar mass of N to be 14, C to be 12, H to be 1, then O to be 16. So as soon as they're given these parameters, you should know that we, we will be finding molar mass. So the question says, calculate the amount of substance in 6 grams, we're giving mass to be 6 grams. The question is said, calculate the amount, so N, we don't know. But he gave us the molar masses. So, calculate the amount of substance of 6 grams of ethanoic acid. Now, ethanoic acid is written as, this is ethanoic acid, CH3C. O O H. That is ethanoic acid. Very right, soon I'll make a lesson on functional groups or I'll make a lesson in organic chemistry. So we'll look at the various functional groups. We'll look at our kings, our kings, our kind, and etc. So I think you'll understand this better. But this is the molar. To help us find the molar mass, we need this structure. Now we are told that so the molar mass of ethanoic acid, sorry. We are told that C is 12, so 12 plus H, hydrogen is 3, so 1 times, hydrogen is 1, so 1 times, so there are 3 of them, plus carbon is 12, plus oxygen is 16, so 2 of them gives you 32, plus the last hydrogen being 1. So let's add all these on my calculator. So when we do that, we get 60 grams per mole. 60 grams per mole. Now since we've been asked to find amount of substance, we know n is small m over big m. So our small m we're giving 6 grams. It's not too important to add the unit. It's the final unit that matters. So 60, so 60. So when we punch this on our calculator, this should give us 0 0.1, I think. This takes care of this, so I think 0 0.1 moves. Easy, right? So let's look at another question. But in now we use this formula, we use this formula. Let's look at the question that involves volume um, and molar volume. Now, this formula can help us to find the amount of substances for gases. It only applies for gases, so it is critical to understand that. So, calculate the amount of carbon dioxide CO2 in 2.8 dm cube of a gas 
at STP. STP stands for standard temperature and pressure. Calculate the amount of carbon dioxide CO2 in 2.8 dm cube of a gas at standard temperature and pressure. We're given molar volume. Molar volume is always going to be given in the question to so be 22.4 dm cube at standard temperature and pressure. Let's take the parameters one by one. So we have 2.8 dm cube of the gas. So volume is 2.8 dm cube of the gas. Then we are giving molar volume Vm to be 22.4 dm cube. Now when the gas is the volume of the gas is given to you in centimeters cube, you will have to change this by dividing by thousand. All right, so we've been asked to find A. So formula number three can help us to do that. So we know N is V over Vm. Our N, our V is 2.8. Then Vm is 22.4. So let's punch this on our calculator. 8.22.4. So our final answer is 0 0.1, 0 0.125 moles. So these are straightforward questions on how to find amount of substance. We'll look at a little trickish questions that can help us to find amount of substance. I think this one is well explained and well understood. So let's look at another question also. A container holds 3.7 of diethyl ether. And the formula is given to us C2H5, all to bracket 2, then O, vapor. Calculate A, the number of moles of diethyl ether present, the volume of the vapor at STP, then C, the number of molecules of diethyl ether present. We are giving L to be 6.06 .06 times 10 raised to the power 23 per mole. Molar volume to be 22.4 dm cube per mole. And we're, we're also giving O to be 16, C to be 12, and H to be 1. So we want to find uh, the structure of data that I would have C to H5. To O. So the question started by giving us grams for mass that is three point seven grams. Then he gave us our Vogano's constant six point zero two times ten to the power twenty three. Then the question gave us molar volume, so V M to be molar volume to be twenty two point four. Dm cube per mole. Now the last, the previous example, I didn't add per mole, so my bad. The previous example that should be per mole on it. So first things first, A says that find the number of moles. So we need to find the number of moles. Now let's see whether we have everything we need to find mole. Since we have mass, we need molar mass, which means we need to find molar mass of so molar mass of diameter is at C to H5 to so we put this. Oh so we know C is 12, so 12 times 2 plus hydrogen is 5, so 1 times 5. All these then plus oxygen is six more. So we'll punch we'll punch this on the calculator. We find out that everything that we to seven to four grams per mole. So we have our molar mass to be seven to four grams per mole. But this is not this is just to help us 
final amount of substance. So the third part of the question A, we know M is M over. So our mass is our mass is three point seven grams divided by our molar mass seventy four gram per mole. It's not too important to write it do. So when we punch this in our calculator. Divided by 74, we're going to get 0.05 moles. So the amount of substance that can be found in diameter is 0.05 moles. Now I want to find the second part of the question, our volume. So let me erase. We're going to use this. Let me erase this from there. B parts, we need to find the volume of the gas. We know that from our formula, N is equal to V over Vn. So to find volume, just do change of subject, a simple change of subject. So our V is N times V in our molar volume. So our amount of substance is 0 0.05 times. This is 22.4. So let's quickly punch this in our calculator. So when we do that, we get 1.12 dmq. 1.12 dm. So the volume of the gas is 1.12 dmq. Let's let's find the last let's find the last part of, the last part of the question. The question says find the number of more. Find the number of molecules of dietite present. So we know number from this our formula, we know M should be equal to amount of substance times Avogadro's constant. Our amount of substance was 0 0.05. Our Avogadro's constant is 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. So this the rest is calculator work. 05 times. So our our answer is going to be because of time. Our answer is 3.01. 3.01 times 10 to the power 23 molecules. So then the question says find the number of molecules of dietite present. So the number of molecules of dietite present is 3.01 times 10 to the power 22, 23, sorry. So I hope up until this point, you are following and you understand, you are keeping some of the formulas in memory. If you're, these, if you're watching story candidates, these should be on your fingertips, especially if you're a science student, because eventually you're going to mix them in your working. Let's look at two more questions. Now, find the amount of sodium hydroxide with concentration of 5 mole dm cube dissolved in 100 cm cube of a solution. Find the amount of sodium hydroxide with concentration of 5 more dm cube dissolved in 100 centimeter cube of a solution so let's look at the parameters the first thing is to find amount of sodium hydroxide with concentration so c was given concentration was given to five more dm cube there are times you'll be given this you'll be given more it's still the same thing then we're given volume to be 100 centimeters cube. Yes. Anytime your volume is given in 100 centimeters cube, you change it to dm cube. You do that by dividing this by a thousand. So I divide this by a thousand. Or you could just simply move the map point back three times. You will get 0 0.1 dm cube. Anytime you don't do that, you don't change, your answer would be wrong. So it is important to do unit conversion. Now we know C equal to N over V, so we do change of subject, N becomes C, V. Question says find the amount of substance, so concentration is 
five, I'll bring the result onto one. So our final answer will punch it on the calculator. It's going to be 0 0.5 moves. So C equal to N over V is a very important formula to have in memory. So let's look at the last question. The last question on this. So up until this point, we have exhausted all the four, four main formulas to use. Four main formulas. We have exhausted the main formulas to use to find the amount of substance which is measured in moles. Now the next question, the amount of 0 0.25 grams of aspirin with the, with the formula C9 H8 O4 is obtained in 100 cm cube of a solution. How many moles and how many molecules of aspirin are in 1 dm cube of the solution? This one looks a little bit complicated. Let me take it again. The amount of 0 0.25 of 25 grams of aspirin is obtained in 100 cm cube of a solution. How many moles and how many molecules? So we are finding two things. Moles, how many, or we are finding the amount of substance that is in moles, that is I. Then the second part, we are looking at the number of molecules, that is our big. How many molecules of aspirin are in one dm cube of the solution? We're not giving any other thing, so we will write there. Let's look at the parameters one by one. Question gave us mass, so mass to be 0 0.25 grams. Then the question gave us volume to be 100 centimeter cube. But then we're given the formula for aspirin to be C9 H8 O4. As it tells by cyclic acid, that's aspirin. So we're given the formula for this. But if we if we are being asked to find the amount of substance, it's easy to find that because we know N equal to small m over big M. So we can, from this formula, N equal to m over big M. But then we don't have molar mass. So we can find molar mass over here. Carbon, we know is 12 all the time. So by 9, 9 times of carbon. So we need 8 times of hydrogen. Then we need plus 4 times of oxygen, which is 16 by 4. Let's punch all this in our calculator and we are going to get the cost of time. So just fast forward this. So we are going to get 180 grams per mole. So finding N. So our N should be easy. Our, our mass is 0 0.25 grams. Our molar mass is 180 grams per mole. So when we punch this in our calculator, we are getting, we're going to get 0 0.01139 Sorry, 0 0.0013. So when we punch this on our calculator, we're going to get 0 0.00139 moles. But you see, the question stated something that I want us to look at again. It is obtained in 100 cm cube of a solution. How many moles and how many molecules of aspirin are in 1 dm cube? This number is found in 100 cm cube. So what would this be in 1 dm cube? Oh, sorry. 0 0.00139 moles. This is in moles. What would this be in 1 dm cube? So we can use, we can simply use ratio to help us find that. Let me. 
。変ですもんね。僕は、simply use the ratio to help us find that. We know that if one more, sorry,、um, we know that 100 centimeter cube is the same as 0.1 dm cube. So if 0.1 dm cube, so if 0.1 dm cube is to this number, which is 0.0013. Okay, so let me divide my board so that we can have we can effectively utilize the space that we have. Now, this is only for 100 centimeter cube, which is the same as 0.1 dm cube. If we if we want the amount of substance in one dm cube, we have to do a little bit of a conversion ratio. So we can say if 0.1 is to 0.00139. Then what will it be in one dm cube? So one dm cube because it's so there's the volume, there's the mole. We want the volume in dm cube. What's the mole? So simple ratio multiply this by this, you multiply this by this. We have 0.1x equals to 0.00139. We divide it by 0.1, divide this by 0.1. So our x should give us zero zero one three nine divided by. So it's supposed to give us zero point zero one three nine moles in one d m cube. So in one d m cube of Then、in one in one dm cube of solution we have this we have this so what we found at first we found it in hundred cm cube but if we want it in one dm cube this is what it's going to be now we've solved the first part of the question which is the a then the b part says find the number so he says to find the so he says to find So we found we found the first part of the question, which is the how many moles. Now we're going to find how many molecules of aspirin. So we know number of molecules n equal to n l. So n is our amount of substance is zero point zero one three nine times our Avogadro's constant or our Avogadro's number. Let me write it here so that everything fits properly. So our n equal to zero point zero one three nine times six point zero two times ten to the power twenty three. So n equal to when we point this on our calculator, we are going to get. All right, so we're going to get eight point three seven times seven to the power twenty one molecules. All right, so this is where we want to end the lesson today. We looked at what mole is, and we solved some questions on mole. We learned we learned how to find mole. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. The next lesson we're going to do will be on BC prep. So we'll finish up linear equation. Thank you for watching this video. If this is your first time watching Study with Delta, you can leave a comment 
if you understood the video, if you want, if there's a topic you want us to help you with, we can easily do that for you. And hit the subscribe button to get our future videos. Thank you very much for joining Study with Delta. I'll come your way very soon. Thank you very much.